So welcome to Fall Assessment Day 2023. Thank you for working through some of our little um, initial challenges with updated Zoom links and whatnot. We're glad that you can be here with us. In this opening session, we are going to be talking about why we're grateful for stronger assessment, which is our theme this Fall Assessment Day. It's enhancing this idea of stronger assessment, which is our sort of year-long theme. And in the spirit of November and Thanksgiving, we're talking about being grateful. But before we get into that, I want to do just a little bit of overview for those of you who might want to know how today is going to work. So how you are going to have a stronger assessment day is you are going to do your workout. You're going to attend one or more fall assessment day events. You are then going to get on your yoga mat and you're going to meditate. You're going to reflect and you're going to complete the assessment day participation form. And then if you really want to be refreshed in your assessment knowledge, you are going to post to our Padlet to earn either a super cool holographic sticker or a super cool magnet. And this is your way of making it even a stronger assessment day. Uh, and thanks to Karen Bird for the design of um, our wonderful uh, you know, images there that we are going to be celebrating. And I will be posting the links for how to do these things um, in the chat a little bit later. But where we're going to start today is I'm going to have our assessment leadership team introduce themselves. So I will start. Um, my name is Julie Morrison, and this is my seventh year as GCC's assessment director, working with our fabulous college assessment and review team and our department assessment coordinators and our student affairs work group, soon to be our co-curricular assessment champions. So I'm excited to be here and celebrating assessment with you. And I am going to have the rest of the team introduce themselves. And I can't see who all is here. So I know that a few folks were coming in because of the, the Zoom link. Uh, Roxanne, are you here yet? All right, well, I see Pam. So Pam, why don't you introduce yourself? Pam Nelson, Physical Sciences and Geology. I am the outgoing assistant director and transition away from assessment, which makes me very sad. Um, but um, I'm working on a course that you will hopefully eventually see that's going to help us develop a stronger assessment um, ability to utilize national trends and other ideas that have been used across the nation and the world, actually, from this particular book. So I look forward to you getting to see that probably in the spring. Great. And yes, we were able to kind of keep Pam for one more semester um, as she is in, you know, leaving a very, very long time role of assessment leadership here at GCC. All right, Karen. Hey, I am one of our assessment developers. I um, am over in the English department. I also serve as my department's assessment coordinator. So really, I'm just very into assessment. Um, and I'll give a quick plug for my 11 o'clock uh, session. It should be super fun. It's the third iteration of our escape game. And this time, we've updated to the gym. So looking forward to the rest of today and all that's going on. Thank you, Karen and Brandon. Good morning, everyone. Brandon Cleworth, Art and Humanities faculty member, uh, assessment developer, and also co-chair of the District General Education Council. And a lot of the work I've been doing this semester for our assessment leadership team pertains to our general education program. And like Karen, I'll put a plug in for our 10 o'clock Plan, Do, Study, Act overview in which Julie and I will be simulating a developer um, client session. So that should be interesting. So please join us then. All right. Uh, thank you, Brandon. Michelle. Hi, everyone. I'm Michelle Petrie. I'm a faculty librarian um, fulfilling a new role on the assessment leadership team this year. Um, so uh, kind of we're moving more towards an evidence-based model for um, assessment and interventions. And so um, I'm kind of pulling together resources and kind of um, being a resource myself for helping folks find um, studies that have kind of proven 
um, some, some success in, in interventions and adjustments. So, um, yeah, and I'm also doing a session at one o'clock today if you're interested in learning more about the role and if you're interested in kind of partnering up to find some resources to help you with your assessment. Thank you. Yeah, and I appreciate all the plugs for the various uh, upcoming activities. All right, uh, Roxanne, are you able to unmute and share a little bit about a little introduction to yourself? Sure, my name is Roxanne Alexander Arnson. I am our Assistant Director of Assessment, and I'm also faculty in the Communication and World Languages Department. I serve as our Department Assessment Coordinator coordinator. And part of my role is to oversee all of the department assessment coordinators. So whomever is your coordinator, I work with them to make sure that you as a faculty member and as a staff member are getting everything that you need, all of the support to be able to complete your assessments. And uh, previously to that, I was a developer. So like Brandon and Pam and Karen and Michelle, I got to work one on one and in small groups with folks. And that's a really fun part of our job is getting to work with you and hear about what cool things you're doing to help students learn. Um, we get to learn about all sorts of things from engineering to nutrition to nursing to CAD. So it's really fun because we get to learn right along with your students and we get to help you um, do the awesome things that you're already doing in your classroom. And if you want to learn a little bit more about the broader assessment team, so our college assessment and review team, and then our department assessment coordinators, and our current student affairs assessment work group, you can go to our Gaucho site and see all of the names and information for those folks, because we couldn't do any of this work without them, or of course, without you. So before we get into sort of some gratefulness, I thought I would just do some brief level setting around assessment. So let's talk about um, assessment. So assessment is happening anytime a faculty or staff member determines whether a student knows, understands, or can do something. So we are doing assessment all of the time. Now, when I talk about the word assessment and when the assessment team talks about the word assessment, what we really want you to hear is student learning improvement. So assessment really is about obviously gauging what a student you know, know and can do and all of that, but we wanna be focused as much as possible on student learning improvement. Now, sometimes assessment is used to confirm student learning, but our goal in a lot of the work we do is to really ensure that we are sort of taking it to that next level. We are creating stronger assessments that really lead to documented improvement in student learning. Now, what should assessment be like? Well, there's sort of five things we can talk about here. It should be meaningful. Uh, it, that means it should relate to what you do and what you value. It should be impactful. It should lead to change and improvements. It should be manageable. You should feel like you can do it and it's a part of your work. And that's part of the reason we have all of these wonderful assessment developers who are here to help you do that work if ever you need that support and as well your department assessment coordinators and then our upcoming co-curricular assessment champions. It should be informative. It should teach you something and potentially raise more questions about what you want to explore next. And it should be robust. It should be useful to you in many different ways. Now, who should assessment benefit? It should really benefit all of us. So it should benefit our students by communicating expectations to them and saying, you know, these learning outcomes that we write for our courses, our programs, our co-curricular activities and other things, it's that's kind of our promise to students. And it's a way for us to validate that we have met that promise. It helps students also engage in their own learning. It helps faculty and staff so we can figure out what is working and what needs to be changed. It allows us to collaborate. It provides evidence for us as we think about what resources we might need um, and how we might want to do some changes. It can help our college by connecting um, effective teaching to our curricular processes, to student learning, again, providing evidence for the effectiveness of the education we are providing here, looking at um, key success indicators like persistence, graduation, and, and job placement as part of that assessment process. It can help our community 
by again, communicating to them the standards that we say that we are going to provide to them through the learning experience. This could be our employers who are looking to hire our students, our partners in you know, K-12 or in higher ed, so that we can really be providing, especially on today, which is an election day, informed um, citizens. And lastly, it has an accreditation benefit. So as uh, my good friend uh, used to say, compliance is about doing what's right and doing assessment for accreditation purposes is ensuring that we are doing what's right for our students and our uh, institution. And so it really demonstrates our respect to those who are in the field who set standards for how this work should be done. All right, and on that quick, very quick overview note, what I wanna do now is allow those who are here, particularly um, some of our, um, our, our, our special guests um, to talk a little bit about why they might be grateful for stronger assessment. Unfortunately, our president, Dr. Tiffany Hernandez is in a meeting with the chancellor. And when the chancellor asks you for a meeting, um, you take that meeting. So she is unable to be at this session where she was gonna talk about um, her, her you know, view of assessment and why she's grateful for stronger assessment. She's hopefully gonna pop into a session later today and you'll be hearing from her in other settings. But in the meantime, I thought I would turn this over to our interim VP of Academic Affairs, Dr. Lorelai Kanopka, to share a little bit about why she's grateful for stronger assessment and the her role she feels it plays in academic affairs. Good morning, everybody. Um, I actually want to start by saying that yesterday I was reflecting on um, sort of how long I've been at GCC. And I actually want to start by saying I'm very grateful for all of our assessment work. And most specifically, I am grateful for being on this journey with Julie. Because when I reflected where I started at GCC, I remember almost weekly meetings where I had just come on board at GCC and we had an HLC mid-cycle accredited um, monitoring report that was due. We like there was a lot of pieces. Um and I had sort of come on board and I since I didn't come from Maricopa, um we had engaged in assessment a little differently in Illinois. Not that any one way is the right way or wrong way, but it was just a different approach. And I remember weekly just hours in that dean's office, just talking through ideas and sharing through strategy and figuring out how do we move our GCC culture um, into an assessment sort of driven culture. And um, seven years in, what a, such a positive reflective moment. And so I'm incredibly grateful for um, Julie as a colleague, as a team member, and for just the process that we went through over time to see where we've come. And in some cases, I feel bad because um, I'm nowhere near connected and involved in the level of assessment that I was when I first started at, at GCC. And I sort of feel bad, like I should be in all those places. However, what has evolved is an amazing assessment leadership team. It was not where it was when I first started, where it is now. We've got the benches deeper, the volume, the voices, all of it's bigger, more robust, more impactful. Students are in the center of it. And so I couldn't be more proud of and appreciative of all the work that we've really accomplished and the change over time that GCC has undertaken and my, pro my professional gratitude to Julie. But with that, I will also say that my professional gratitude to Brandon, because I came in right as in, in that process of he, I, he was involved in assessment long before I was here. And then there was these changes and, and ILOs. And like I said, I'm grateful that he really started us off long before I even showed up. And then Julie sort of took the reins. Um, I I really had a, a positive um co-collaborator in this work and look at where we are now. And, and the last part about my gratefulness is um, to our decks because um, it goes without saying and is probably the most underspoken 
work that our faculty do is to work every single day with those faculty in the departments to try to help navigate assessment, share assessment, talk about why we should be doing assessment. And so all those all those little side conversations that our DACs have with each and every faculty in their departments, um, those are probably under spoken in terms of how much value they add. So I'm very grateful for all the work and the lift that our DACs um, put on their shoulders every single day, every semester to move our assessment work forward. So the last part, keeping it somewhat short, again, I'm super grateful for a lot of things. Um, assessment and academics go hand in hand. There's no mystery about that. It doesn't, our, our commitment to assessment and academics is unwavering. Um, it's not gonna change. We need to keep moving forward. We've got new things on the horizon, gen ed assessment, co-curricular assessment. We've got all these things that are surfacing up. We also have to be dealing with program review and assessment and thinking differently about what that looks like for sustainability over time. So academic affairs is nowhere shifting its role, its commitment to assessment. In fact, it's actually, it's just gonna get stronger as we continue down these pathways. So thank you for giving me the opportunity to just share a little bit about my gratefulness and, and sort of how assessment's gonna continue to impact academic affairs. Uh, thank you, Lori, I appreciate that. And I know we started just a little bit late today. Um, we do have a couple more minutes if anybody else on the assessment leadership team or anybody else who feels so moved would like to talk why about why they are grateful for stronger assessment. You can also throw something into the chat or you can just keep thinking about it as your day progresses. I know I'm grateful for all of the colleagues I have um, really connected with and friends I have made through this process. So it's not directly assessment related, but it, in many ways it is. And I'll, I'll add this, and I've said it before. So if you've heard me talk in other meetings, assessment was the first place on GCC's campus that I felt like I belonged or that I had something to offer. Um, it was the first time that I went, oh, here's where I, here's where I have a, a, a fit or a, a moment of not feeling like an imposter. And so that was a really a big piece of that. And that really is a boon. Um, and I can chalk that up to the leadership that's been in place for a very long time. Um, and I'm very grateful for the work that's being done because it is so important and so wonderful. And um, I'm very grateful to have gotten to know all of the assessment leadership team, but also just having this place on campus to get to see the work that we do through this lens is huge. So, and big shout out to Pam, because I know as she's moving out of this world into her next adventure, um, she's going to continue to be such a strong voice for assessment. All right, Christine. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just thankful for so many things. I've been, um, I am uh, a member of CART. I've been on the team since fall of 2021. And I did um, just a uh, very similar to Karen, as she started out, it feels, I felt so welcomed and just immediately a part of, um, you know, not just a team, but a family. I just, it's just such a great group to work with. And Julie just inspires me to be a better leader. I've learned so much from her, just from how she leads this team. So, um, but be, you know, I, my role is really serving as that Dean of Enrollment Services rep. So I'm filling in that space. I'm also with, um, because being in student affairs, I'm part of the uh, co-curricular assessment champion. So we'll be, so plug, that's the next session. So I'll be talking more about that. But um, as Lori mentioned about this um, unwavering commitment to assessing learning, um, what I love about co-curricular assessment is it's so intertwined. We know that students learn when they're engaged in and outside of the classroom and that the work that we do um, in student affairs is mutually reinforcing what's um, uh, being learned in the classroom and the curriculum. So we're, we're partners in this learning um, experience. So I'm excited to take our work as the, what we're doing with co-curricular assessment to the next level um, and I, we'll talk more about that at the next session. 
You'll also hear from Christine later as she talks about her dissertation work that she did around uh, student affairs assessment and how to manage change in that space. All right, on that note, keeping to our a very quick speed of all of these sessions, uh, we are going to call this one to an end. We thank you for being here. I am putting into chat um, as soon as it appears, three different links. One is to our Gaucho page that has our full schedule and additional details. One is to the participation form that once you have completed your participation for the day, you will fill out to give us feedback, to tell us what you learned and to get your certificate. And then again, if you wanna level up and get a cool sticker or a magnet, uh, there's a link to the Padlet that will allow you to describe a stronger assessment or plans for a stronger assessment. And in that way, you can see about earning one of these special, exciting treats. And you can even see, here's my laptop. I've got all my gaucho swag, including my new sticker. And at this point, I'm going to pop those into chat. And hopefully, a bunch of you will stick around for our session starting in just two minutes on co-curricular assessment champions. And if we're going to see you later or not at all, we do appreciate you coming to this session. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs>